but when you start thinking about the lifestyle we could actually. <laughs> I am driving a van with two lovely gentlemen trapped in the back, Ronnie and Ahmed. They can't see anything back there. They're from the north, but I'm driving them to the south. They have no idea where we're going. It's that kind of show. When they're not trapped in the back of my blacked out van, Ronnie and Ahmed Kuja live in a detached house in Hartlepool, County Durham. The couple have been married for 14 years. They currently live in a handsome four bedroomed property. But with Ahmed looking for new opportunities with his work, they've decided now is the time for a radical move and selling up would give them 625,000 pounds to make it happen. Ronnie and Ahmed both agree they want somewhere smaller than their current home, but it will need a large garden. They crave cafe culture and a lively community. Plus, they want plenty of waggle room for their dog George to roam free. Who am I, Gandalf Flippin' Eck? I'm about to show them an exceptional home that has everything on their wish list but they'd never have even considered it if they knew where it was. So, I'm keeping shtum. For now, let's see what happens. <laughs> Ronnie, Ahmed, this is the place. Nice. We did it. Take your blindfolds off, please. Ta-da! Oh. 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 Wow. This 120-year-old converted barn has an upstairs extension, so it's much more than a bungalow. The private garden has an insulated pottery studio that could easily become an office. Do you know when you've got a really good feeling about somewhere? Really looking forward to this one. Hold on to that feeling. Yeah. The stone building has three bedrooms and three bathrooms. There's a snazzy spiral staircase and the jewel in the crown, an incredible open-plan kitchen living space that's sure to get them excited. I think I'm slightly um, in shock, actually. Yeah. You do seem yeah. a <laughs> I do feel a little bit in we shock. We weren't expecting it to be yeah, quite like a, this. Yeah. Actually, a little bit emotional, actually. Yeah, because right. yeah. I think um, it's kind of thing that we really wanted and we could imagine, but couldn't very well articulate, but actually seeing it and, and walking into it. Um, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, I love it, absolutely love it. That I is love, love that the best reaction yeah. ever, Ahmed. Yeah. We'll, we'll wander around, explore, just, ch just check it out. You know, imagine yourselves living in this room. Look at the outside area there as well. Yeah, really I noticed nice. that, yeah, little, little shed, I want to explore that. Must be the artisan shed, that seems enclosed. It seems that my fourth perfect house has put Ronnie and Ahmed in a good place emotionally. But where are they geographically? Time for you to find out. We're in Ashburton, an ancient Devon town whose wealth was built on tin mining. Full of beautiful 17th century buildings from its heyday, the town has a population of over 3,000 and is a short waggle away from dog walking mecca, Dartmoor. Average house prices are 375,000, but my perfect house is almost double that at 645. Still, it's well within Ronnie and Ahmed's ballpark. I mean, we've also talked about, you know, um, is this gonna be our, our forever home? Initially, I, I didn't really think so because I didn't really feel ready to do that. Yeah. But I can imagine us living here and not really wanting to move away. Yeah, I agree. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, try not to get emotional. Yeah. You're getting emotional, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pack it because I don't cry. Yeah. Now, Ashburton. We absolutely loved it. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah. Great. We really did, tell yeah. Tell me. It was amazing. Tell on, tell on. Well, when we went there, there was a Christmas market going on in the, uh, the town hall. Perfect. But everyone was just so welcoming, weren't they? Yeah, absolutely. We feels like we now know about half a dozen people there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Did you head to Craftmongers? We did. What do you think? I think you had a bit of a moment there, didn't you? <laughs> what happened? Oh, I stupidly started, got, I got over emotional. And yeah, I did, it was crazy. Wait a minute. It started crying. Yeah. Ashburton got you as well. Yeah, it yeah. did. Yeah. So we got Armin, yeah. and we got yeah. you. Well, I said at the time, I don't really get really emotional about bricks and mortar, but when you start thinking about the lifestyle we could actually. 
<laughs> the lifestyle that we can actually have, it was just overwhelming for me. It was just perfect. I couldn't have asked for more. Go easy now, because you're going to get me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm the last one. <laughs> well, I, th I feel like I know where this is going, but I'm going to ask the question anyway. Do you feel you found your perfect home? We put an offer in this morning. Oh, wow! <laughs> yeah. I'm just waiting for the phone call back from the estate agent. In, in this moment? Yeah. yeah. It was such a fantastic experience, so thank you for yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it was worth every second of it. Yeah. It's been such a pleasure hanging out with you, both fantastic people. I, I, I wish you a lifetime of happiness, because you deserve it. You're awesome. Thank you, oh, guys. Thank you. thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs>